welcome back to Distinctive Insurance Weekly. I'm your host, Alexa Kay, and today we will be concluding our three-part series on Section 6055 and 6056 reporting. Now that we know who the Section 6055 and Section 6056 reporting applies to, let's go over what else these sections entail. Section 6055 and 6056 require that any businesses with 50 plus employees are required to report their coverage that they offer their employees. This is referred to as eligible employer sponsored coverage. Eligible employer sponsored coverage can be any of the following options. A self-insured group health plan under which coverage is offered by an employer to an employee, a fully insured group health insurance plan offered by an employer to an employee either in a small or large group market, or a grandfathered health plan offered by an employer to an employee. Now that we've gone over all of what these sections entail, here are some common questions and answers regarding section 6055 and 6056. Do you have to report if you provide an individual plan for your employees as a small or large group? No, you will not need to report as a provider of health coverage under Section 6055 or 6056 if individual plans are provided. The health insurance issuer or carrier is responsible for reporting that health coverage. What forms are needed to be reported and by whom? Small employers who are fully insured do not need to report anything except a health reimbursement arrangement. Small employers who are self-insured need to report using forms 1094B and 1095B. Large employers who are fully or self-insured need to report using 1094C and 1095C forms. What can your business do to help with ACA reporting? You can use an HR or benefit service that will take care of all of your Section 6055 and 6056 reporting, as well as all other aspects of your ACA reporting. Distinctive Insurance will be glad to discuss these options with you and answer any questions you have regarding Section 6055 and 6056 reporting. Well, that's all we have for this week, but thank you so much for sticking with us, and we hope you've learned a little more about Section 6055 and 6056. See you next week! If you liked our video, don't forget to hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you need a quote for any of your insurance needs, please visit our website at www.distinctive.net. See you next time!